Welcome to our Restaurant Cafe channel. Today, we're diving into the delicious world of fried rice. If you've ever wondered how to create the perfect plate of fried rice, you're in the right place. Whether you're a cooking novice or an experienced chef, there's always something new to learn about this versatile and flavorful dish. Let's start with the basics, the ingredients. Fried rice is a simple yet fantastic dish that you can customize to your heart's content. The core ingredients include rice, oil, and a selection of vegetables and protein. The type of rice you choose can make a significant difference. Many prefer using long-grain rice for its ability to stay separate and not clump together. But you can experiment with different types to find your favorite. Speaking of rice, the key to perfect fried rice is to use day-old rice. Freshly cooked rice has too much moisture, which can result in a soggy mess. Leftover rice, on the other hand, has had time to dry out slightly, making it perfect for stir-frying. Now, let's talk about the cooking techniques. Fried rice is all about high heat and quick cooking. Start by heating a wok or a large skillet over high heat. Add some oil, and once it's hot, add your aromatics. Garlic and ginger are typical choices. They infuse the oil with their flavor, setting the stage for the rest of the dish. Next, add your protein. Whether you're a fan of chicken, shrimp, tofu, or something else entirely, make sure it's cooked to perfection before moving on. The key here is to avoid overcooking. Nobody likes rubbery chicken or tough shrimp. Once the protein is done, set it aside. Now it's time for the veggies. Choose your favorites, such as bell peppers, carrots, peas, or whatever suits your taste. Stir-fry them for a few minutes until they're slightly tender but still crisp. The high heat ensures that the veggies keep their vibrant colors and remain crunchy. Now, reintroduce the cooked protein to the wok or skillet. Mix everything together, and it's time to add your day-old rice. Break up any clumps and stir-fry everything together. The rice should be coated in the flavorful oil, and you'll start to hear that sizzling sound that tells you it's coming together beautifully. Flavor is crucial in fried rice. The secret lies in the sauces and seasonings. Soy sauce is a must, it adds that signature umami flavor. A touch of oyster sauce or hoisin sauce can elevate your dish to another level. And if you like it spicy, don't forget the chili sauce or a dash of crushed red pepper flakes. A sprinkle of sugar can balance the saltiness and add a hint of sweetness. Stir-fry everything together, ensuring that the sauce evenly coats the rice, protein, and vegetables. The goal here is to achieve a balanced harmony of flavors. You might also want to consider the timing of your ingredients. Proteins and vegetables that take longer to cook should be added first. For example, if you're using chicken and carrots, start with the chicken, then add the carrots a few minutes later. This ensures that everything is perfectly cooked when you're ready to serve. Mixing and stirring are skills you'll want to master. Keep everything moving in the wok to prevent sticking and ensure even cooking. Don't be afraid to toss it all in the air if you're feeling adventurous, just make sure it lands back in the wok. And 
here's a quick tip. Use two spatulas or cooking utensils to help flip and mix the ingredients effectively. It's a handy technique that many chefs use to keep the food in motion. While cooking fried rice is a straightforward process, there are some common mistakes to avoid. Point one of the most significant pitfalls is using too much soy sauce, which can result in overly salty and dark colored rice. Start with a small amount, and you can always add more if needed. Another mistake is overcrowding the pan. If you add too much rice or ingredients at once, it can lower the temperature in the pan and make it challenging to get that perfect fried texture. Be patient and cook in batches if necessary. Now, let's talk about protein and vegetable additions. When it comes to protein, you have plenty of choices. Chicken, pork, beef, shrimp, and tofu are all excellent options. The key is to cut them into small, bite-sized pieces for even cooking. Season them with a bit of salt and pepper before cooking to enhance their flavor. For vegetables, the sky's the limit. Bell peppers, peas, carrots, broccoli, and scallions are popular choices. You can use fresh or frozen vegetables, it's all about personal preference. Just make sure they're cut into small pieces for quick cooking. And don't forget the eggs. Scramble a couple of eggs in a separate pan and then stir them into the rice at the end. It adds a lovely texture and flavor. One of the fantastic aspects of fried rice is its adaptability. You can make it your own by incorporating different ingredients, sauces, and seasonings. Whether you're a fan of classic Chinese-style fried rice, spicy Thai fried rice, or Japanese hibachi-style fried rice, the possibilities are endless. If you're a vegetarian or vegan, fried rice is an ideal dish. Skip the animal protein and load up on colorful vegetables and tofu for a satisfying and plant-based meal. The sauces and seasonings will still provide plenty of flavor. Don't forget about fusion fried rice. It's an exciting way to experiment with different cultural influences and create unique, one-of-a-kind dishes. Imagine the flavors of Mexican, Indian, or Mediterranean cuisine infused into your fried rice. The results can be extraordinary. If your rice turns out too mushy, it likely had too much moisture. Spread it out on a baking sheet and let it air dry for a bit. You can also pop it in the refrigerator to speed up the process. Greasy fried rice can happen if you use too much oil. To salvage it, blot the excess oil with paper towels or transfer the rice to a clean, dry pan and cook it for a few minutes to absorb the extra oil. If your dish turns out bland, try adjusting the seasonings. You can add a bit more soy sauce or any other sauces you like. Taste as you go and adjust to your preferences. To conclude, fried rice is a versatile and satisfying dish that anyone can master. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned chef, it's all about understanding the basics. Experimenting with ingredients and seasonings, and practicing your techniques. Remember that the key to perfect fried rice is balance, balance of flavors, textures, and ingredients. If you enjoyed this video and the delicious journey we've shared, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our Restaurant Cafe channel for more exciting culinary adventures. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.